streaming. Like excellent connection. Alrighty. And I'm live. Hello, hello. Okay, got my channel. Alrighty. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Let me just switch something right there. Okay. Hi friends. So in today's video, um, I decided instead of making a video like with edits and everything, I decided to go live and say hello and um, give you an announcement, do an announcement right here and now. And so I have this mega uh, haul. It's a Christina Griffiths Hall. She is card making magic. She is um, out of the UK. And let me give you a little bit of background. Um, I've been a fan of Christina Griffiths from early on when I first had my YouTube channel and I transitioned from decorating videos to crafting videos because I just enjoy crafting. I enjoy doing both things, crafting and decorating, but there was um, more of a um, community thing with crafting. So I really enjoyed going down the crafting route. And just leaving decorating behind and so when I started following people I remember my very first people who I started following were names like that they, they no longer do videos like uh, well some of them um, Gabrielle Polacco I, I would just binge on her videos uh, Steffo gal Steffo gal is the one who who got me started on on looking at these beautiful mini albums that were so easy to make and she was always so encouraging and whatever platforms video platforms she would use I would uh, <laughs> I would follow her on those platforms and I remember in her live videos when I started typing stuff up to chat with people and people would chat back with me I would be like so excited that crafting uh people would tell me give me hints and everything you know to give me tips about how they go about it doing things and what i should buy or stay away from it was a lot of fun that was way back in the day of stefo gal and and then i came across ginger you know my my sister scrapper my scrap scrapping sister anyway she's the one that got me hooked on all of those beautiful graphic 45 papers because i I just love the intensity of those colors and you know how YouTube algorithms are you know one thing leads to another and then I came across Christina Griffiths back in the day she was doing a lot of designs and stuff card making for uh, spellbinders she would use the spellbinders videos so I learned about spellbinders through Christina Griffiths and I remember early on I would you know type in a comment and I would just be so starstruck when she would answer me back <laughs> You don't know how it is when you're first starting. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, and she would answer me back and I would be just so starstruck. Anyways, it seems like decades later, but I know I haven't been doing this for decades, but years later, here she is, Christina Griffiths with her own brand, which is Card Making Magic. Oh my gosh, it's like she's come a long way and I am so happy for her. I was one of her fans early on and I, I um, the last time I communicated with Christina Griffiths, I was like, girl, you're the one who was a major inspiration in, the, in my style of card making, you know, I mean... I really enjoyed her style, you know, Christina Griffiths, 
Becca Feekin. When I learned about Spellbinders, when I got into Spellbinders, I was like, yes, I followed these ladies religiously. And now look at the amount of stuff that I have from Card Making Magic. So let me pause for a moment and say hello to some folks who are here. Hello from France. Well, hi, France. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Janice. Isabel, how are you? Como estas, hermana? I hope you're okay. I am so happy to see y'all here. So let me continue with, with my thing. And I do have an announcement to make. And and it's it's been, for those of you who know me personally, like Isabel and some other uh, fully has gone through certain hurdles in 2020, um, I, I don't want to bring a damper to this video, but I'm just going to let you all know why I haven't been so communicative in my um, comments. Like, for example, y'all will leave me comments and sometimes I just don't answer back, not because I don't want to, not because I'm ignoring you, but because of certain things that are happening. Uh, in my family in 2020 and I tell my closest friends you know what I can't wait till this year is over because it's just been one downside over another and this is a lot of people share that with me but in a nutshell we I, I've had health issues that you all know about and things are on the downhill for me and um, we've also have had um, deaths in our family as some of you know my mother-in-law um, passed away on the night of Christmas Eve she was buried in 2020 um, and then my father-in-law passed away in May on the day of my son's birthday and uh, not too long ago we had yet another death in the family um, my sister-in-law passed away unexpectedly and so these things have been happening. And even though I craft um, to keep my sanity, I craft because I love it. And it's a method of, of um, therapy for me. There's still a lot of sadness there, but y'all don't get to witness that in my videos. So I want to apologize for not um, answering your comments whenever you comment on my videos. It's just that, you know, in a nutshell, I'm going through some stuff, you know, and um, yeah, and then there's stuff with my spine, new stuff has shown up. And so um, I'm waiting on the appointment for the MRI and it's not good. So yeah, I'm in that, but I did not want to put a, a, a damper on this video. I just want to go ahead and share my announcements with you because these are really exciting things that have happened to me in the crafting industry. And I want to share that with you. And also I want y'all to know that y'all are the reason why I do this. Okay. Y'all are the reason why I'm crafting. You know, it's not only therapeutic and, and self-serving in a way because it's therapeutic to me. It brings me joy. But I also do this because y'all keep me going. If it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for Isabel, if it wasn't for Janice, if it wasn't for Brian. Hi, Brian. If it were uploading videos, I would just keep to myself and do my own thing at my own time. But because of you guys, I continue to... to um, push myself to do better to be better and and to give you the best the most positive experience that i can share with you and so i just want you all to know that because of you guys i am able to achieve some things uh and push myself forward in the crafting industry and i owe it all to y'all because you guys in a way uh, push me to be better, to do better, and to seek bigger and better things in this industry. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And so uh, my announcement is that, <laughs> that I was chosen to be a part of a very special design team. It is based out of the UK. And I know that I made a tiny little hint of an announcement several weeks ago, but then all of this other stuff happened. And uh, I just want to say I am now international, y'all. <laughs> I am now.
Cal, one of the newest design team members for Craft Stash. But it doesn't end there. Okay. Um, I have also been chosen by Craft World to be uh, in their expert crafting panel. They have a panel of uh, paper crafting experts who have their own page and we share paper crafting ideas, tutorials, and inspirations with the will offer an exclusive, exclusive content only to Craft World along with giveaways. And it's all supported by them, by Craft World. So that is so exciting for me. And just to let you all know, tomorrow uh, we'll be taping an interview. Uh, Craft Stash is going to be interviewing me. And I will let you all know throughout social media uh, when that interview comes up, you know, once they're ready to deploy it out in public. So anyways, yeah, that is some exciting announcements that I wanted to share with you. And so let me check the convo before I start with this over here. So I want to say, let's see, no apologies needed. Life happens and we understand and send love and prayers. Thank you so much, Janice. That means the world to me. And Isabel says, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Oh my gosh, you say, estoy bien y tú, yo, tú sabes, you know, I'm, every day, you know, every day is something different, but I'm taking my meds and I'm just waiting for my MRI and my, um, what you want to call it, my, they're going to be doing a sonogram. Yeah, is that what it's called, a sonogram? They take pictures of your liver, so, anyways, yeah, that's, that's what I'm just waiting on, and so, Brian says, I'm so proud of your of your accomplishment, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. And Brian, I want to thank you so much for your help. Uh, folks, Brian is an admin at my um, Facebook page. <laughs> Funny story about my Facebook page. I, a few years back, I made a Facebook page for decorateyourlife.com and then I kind of shelved it and I totally forgot about it because I honestly don't have the time. You know, I either craft or do social media. I can't do both at the same time. Social media marketing is a full-time job and I just don't have the time for that. And so, um, Brian is helping me out. He's helping me admin my Facebook group. And my Facebook group is um, called DecorateYourLife.com. And you're more than welcome to join that Facebook group. And uh, you're more than welcome to post your pictures, your, you know, paper crafting pictures, your uh, YouTube channel. If you have a shop, you are more than welcome to post links to your shop. If you do affiliate marketing, you're more than welcome to state that you're using affiliate marketing links. Okay. So anyhow, let me go ahead and get started. And uh, yeah, this is card making magic. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the six by six paper pads. I did go through the six by six paper pads, but not really on this. And so this is going to be a surprise for me. Now, Christina Griffiths, I am such a huge fan of her, and I'm sorry about the glare. And so she sent me all this stuff. This is called the Birthday Occasion Inserts, is what they call it. It's six by six papers, 48 sheets, and 16 designs. This is what the cover looks like. And... Let's go through these pages. Now, they call them inserts. You know, things are, are, are worded a little bit different in the UK. I've, I'm learning that real quick. <laughs> but these are really cute pages to me. They're like six by six papers. They're very um, pale, very pale, very pretty and gentle looking and very nice looking. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I think this goes like so. Yeah, let me just 
go like this to show you all the different designs. Yes, they're soft and pretty. Thank you, Janice. You know, sometimes words escape me. <laughs> it's like one of those things that's at the tip of your tongue, but you just can't get it out. You know, and I'm thinking it's the meds. <laughs> and so, but it's keeping the pain at bay. And oh my gosh, look at this. This is so super pretty. So, so nice. And right here, look at that. It's very pale. You know, you can easily do a uh, shabby chic. You can easily do shabby chic with this. And I think after this, the patterns repeat themselves. Look at that. That is so pretty. Yeah, let me see. Yep, they repeat themselves. Okay, so this page, this packet, I mean, I'm sorry, is called, let me put this back in here. This is the name of this packet. And by the way, I went ahead and I inserted an affiliate link for all of Christina's card making magic products that are sold at Craft Stash. And it is a Craft, blah, Craft Stash USA website. So you're going to find the link to that in the description area of this live video. The other paper pad that I have is a 5 by 7 paper pack. It's called Christmas Inserts, 48 sheets, 16 designs, and it's 120 GSM. And I guess that is the weight of the paper. So let me do this. Here, let me put these things to the side. Sorry about all that crinkling. And... This is what the package looks like. See, very soft, very gentle, very pretty. That is Christina's style. And, and you could, um, you know, it, it shows in her papers. Excuse me, just a moment. I need some water. Okay, sorry about that. And so there's always a first time for everything, right? This one is called... Christmas inserts. Okay, because I was going to say, it looks very Christmassy. So take a look at that. Oh my gosh, this is so super pretty. Very gentle. And these are one, uh, not one. This is not double sided paper, it's just uh, design on one side. See, very gentle papers. Perfect for card making, and I would even say mini albums, because you can always um, do these with regular color cardstock. It's very pretty. I've seen it done, and it's very nice, very pretty. Look at that. That is so, so nice. Oh, this is absolute gorgeous. See, this is my style, you know, part of, because I also love the colorful Colorful, very colorful papers, and I just love these gentle papers. Look at that, how pretty this is. Look at that, that is so super pretty. Oh my gosh, I just love this color combination. Just love it. Love, love, love it. And look at that, it's a very soft lilac. Who would have thought that lilac would be Christmas color? <laughs> and that is so pretty. And I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this. And here is another design. Isn't that pretty? And another design. And then I think it repeats. Yes, this re Chris what is it called? Christmas inserts? Yeah, Christmas inserts. That's what it looks like. And this other one, did I already do this? Hang on, just a moment. I just need to see the names of, of what we have over here. Birthday and occasion inserts. Okay, this one, you just saw it in the six by six. This one is the same thing, birthday and occasions inserts, but this one is in the five by seven. 
Okay, so I'm not going to go through this because we've already looked through the 6x6. Six six. Okay, and this one is called Christmas Inserts in the 6x6. Six six. See that? It's in the 6x6 six six and we all just saw it over here. Oh, and here's... <laughs> <laughs> I also got me a crocodile. This I got from Amazon, you know, because when I got a, I, one of the crocodiles over at Tuesday morning, I thought that I was buying this, but it wasn't this. And finally, I have this because I do want to make more, um, you know, like when you make your traveler's notebooks and you do the covers yourself through the laminator. I want, I want to be able to round off the corners and a regular corner chomper doesn't do it, but this will. Plus, it will also help me when I do handmade mini albums, you know, the covers and so forth. So, yeah, I got me a crocodile. <laughs> so, let me just put this over here to the side. And let's take a look at these from Card Making Magic. Okay. I have a big bundle over here and these let me just set it like so we have dies and stamps and I think yep embossing folders remember the other day I uploaded a video about embossing folders <laughs> <laughs> let's use those embossing folders gosh I can't believe I gave mine away but you see I was like and I had some beautiful designs oh my gosh designs and they were spellbinders designs I remember because I had purchased them early on not only were they spellbinders I think I had some Sizzix as well beautiful you know how I love the swirly elegant designs I had those and I also had Anna Griffin that I had purchased I believe from Joann's years ago oh my gosh I gave it all away I could kick myself I gave those all away they were all in a box I told my husband take all the stuff to Goodwill and I could kick myself because those folders were beautiful so yeah now I'm back to using the um, what you call it um embossing folders and i tell you next time you want to de-stash something think it over sleep on it think twice because you never know <laughs> so this right here let's see we have a 17 piece die set it is card making magic by christina griffiths now this collection let me move it over here this collection is called pretty poinsettia and i'm gonna open this package in just a little bit to show you what her dyes look like so the packaging is very pretty packaging and it opens like so and uh here we go all righty these here we go and I'm glad I bought more magnetic sheets because I have all these dies to house now. So we have pretty poinsettia dies, and I believe, I think there's some stamps to this. I'm not sure. We'll see in just a minute. And look at all these sizes. See that? And you also get leaves, just individual leaves. And look at this. You get some um, leaves over here as well. And here are more leaves and then we have tiny little flowers just like so and we have words <laughs> words and words and more words I feel like Beavis and Butthead <laughs> yep you know generation X here <laughs> Oh my gosh yeah and so we got words <laughs> and words <laughs> oh gosh oh I'm so glad Janice Janice says she's going to pull out her huge card making magic stash today that's fantastic and make you know make a video and everything that you make Janice because I want to see and see that's another thing guys you know um y'all don't know this but I'm gonna 
I'm on a cocktail of different medicines and, and that's because, like I said, things are not getting better. Uh, new things have, um, whatchamacallit. But you know what? I'm strong. I'm strong. And as long as God gives me strength, I will continue on. And so anyways, a lot of the videos, y'all's videos, I get to watch from my bed on my TV and I thumbs up your videos, but I don't get to comment on them. So Janice, make videos. Yes, show me your card making magic because I want to see. So this one is called Pretty Poinsettia. How pretty is that? It's very pretty. <laughs> and this other one is called Perfect Christmas Rose. It's a 19 piece die set by Christina Griffiths. Card making magic. Oh my gosh. I'm like, somebody pinch me. <laughs> I can't believe that I am, you know, it's, it's just so like, wow. I'm just starstruck. I can't believe I have all this stuff from Christina. And wow, it's, you know, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so these guys look like this. And she is such a sweet lady. I tell you, you know, when I barely had 50 subscribers and I was watching her videos and, and I would ask her questions about her card making, she would answer back and I'd be like, oh my gosh, she answered my question. <laughs> you know, look at all this stuff. Look at all these pretty dyes. Look at that. And what I am li liking about this, what I'm loving about this is, check out Christina's flower dyes. They're not perfect shapes like perfect you know flower things she's going by how imperfect nature is and that's what makes it so beautiful so when you die cut these flowers and then you start layering them you know you can only imagine how beautiful the you know the layered flowers are going to look i just love that about these dyes and I wanted to point that out to you and over here we have words and words and more words here we have some leaves and this is so super pretty I just love that look at that you know we're gonna be layering these and I could just if you could just picture it in your mind how beautiful this is going to look because you know it's so um it's so like nature. I love that. And so let me go ahead and put these back in here. Gosh, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> this is going to be a long video, y'all. I hope you're, you're, you know, it's lunchtime by where you're at. It'll be lunchtime in my area pretty soon. I do believe, oops. I do believe my husband and my son went out to get us something to eat. So, oh my gosh. Oh, I, I'm just reading a comment here. Okay, what is it? Brian says, hang on a second. Let me just put this here so I can see. Brian says, Sandy, you may want to know this. My desk is now in front of my window. I took your advice. That is awesome, Brian. I am looking forward to seeing your video. See, Brian and I were chatting. Um, he called me or I called him, I forget, the other day. And so, you know, I was, I was giving him some pointers on how he makes his videos. And I told him... One thing that I learned along the way before I bought my camera, before I bought my microphone and all of that, I said, uh, one thing that will help you in your videos is natural lighting. For example, me, as you can see, there's light bulbs pointing at this. I'm in a room with no windows whatsoever, which li which makes lighting so much difficult, you know, for me because I want to give you the best videos that I can give you. But um, li lighting is always a struggle for me because I don't have any windows here. I don't have any natural light. And, and a tip that I could give you is if you could put your crafting table by 
a window, your video quality will improve at least by 50% because lighting, natural lighting has a lot to do with how your camera picks up the, the, um, the images and it makes a world of difference when you're using natural lighting in, uh, you know from outside instead of light bulbs that I'm using so yeah and and I do go out outdoors to take pictures um, of my stuff which is why you see the difference you know when I just post my pictures like on my website they're so clear and everything it's because I'm using natural light alrighty this other set is the Starshine triple easel that's interesting it's a triple easel card you know I've always wondered about them triple easel cards and now I have the die set to do it and it looks like this okay you're gonna get a package like this and I think I'm gonna make this my first project I have so many different projects that I can make for you over here I'm not taking those out because as you can see those that's a lot of um, die sets but I am so looking forward for this one probably Christmas cards with this and so yeah it's a 20 piece die set and it's for them triple easel cards Wow thank you thank you thank you and so this other one is called the hexagon bobble easel oh my gosh I did something with a hexagon do y'all want to see a sneak peek it's it'll I can only do a sneak peek for you because it's going to be um, what you might call it a featured in craft world this month are we in, yeah we're in September <laughs> it's gonna be featured in craft world so I am going to give you a sneak oh hi Elizabeth how are you I didn't see you and hi Angela um let me do a sneak peek okay and ah hang on okay Ta -da! <laughs> look at this I love this oh my gosh I love this so much <laughs> it's a sneak peek and it's a hexagon and so that video is going to be fe featured in craft world it is um, the, the tutorial is going to be in their website only not on YouTube does that make sense yeah you know and they're also they're also building um, giveaways around my content so yeah after I'm done with this video I'm going to link you to my craft world page so that you can sign up and follow me there because craft world is building this whole thing and around my page and they're um, yeah they're doing giveaways they just did a giveaway last week on it and I know I remember I posted it on Facebook and stuff but uh, yeah I got a few people in there commenting and everything so I don't know if they've uh, they've done a winner just yet but uh, yeah I will leave you with that link when I'm done with this I just forgot to add it before I did the video and speaking of giveaways you know what what's today's day today's the second I do have a giveaway challenge in my blog it is all you have to do is make a memory dex card you don't need to send it to me or anything you just upload the picture in in my giveaway blog post so it ends on the fifth and I'm giving away a $25 gift card to heartfelt creations just you know throwing out there if anybody's interested in joining I know I have a couple of entries and uh, yeah your chances are high <laughs> if you want to win a $25 gift card for heartfelt creations so the next <laughs> I know I went off on a tangent there the next um, set that I'm gonna show you is called a hexagon bauble easel it is a 15 piece die set by Christina card making magic and this is what it looks like and I'm not gonna pull out all of the um, okay and let me put this right back okay hang on just a moment let me look at y'all's because somebody is that's awesome awesome the fifth of this month yes honey okay yeah the giveaway challenge is for me for my uh, blog is up on the fifth and all you gotta do is just read the um, what you call it read the rules 
<clears throat> excuse me, the blog post is called Memory Dex Challenge Giveaway, I believe. And uh, all you got to do is when you go in to comment, you can upload your picture. I set my blog in such a way in which now people can upload their pictures of their uh, crafts when they're doing a comment. Like, let's say, let's say I'm, I'm I uploaded a project like this. I blogged about a project like this. Then if you want, you know, you, when you visit my blog and you put in a comment and you made something similar to it, you're more than welcome to upload your picture for the rest of the, of the world to see. Okay. So I'm moving along. Look at this. Hang on a second. I need water. Okay, thank you, Janice. Thumbs up for Sammy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if you were to thumbs up this video. Um, another die, and this is a beautiful die. It's called Round Bobble Easel. Oh, it's an easel. So it's like a, a Christmas ornament that you can make into an easel card, and it is a 15-piece die set. Let me show it to you. Looks just like so. Okay, and what you get looks like this. Okay, you just kind of like you get all sorts of beautiful dyes with this. So that one is the round bobble easel. Okay, oh my gosh, this one I love it. I love shapes like these. This one is called the traditional bobble easel. It is also a 15-piece die set. So in other words, you know, for Christmas card making, she's giving you options on making easel cards, Christmas easel cards that are shaped like ornaments. So that is super nice. I am so looking forward to doing. Oh, my gosh, look how big it is. Oh, my gosh, look how big it is. So basically, she takes the guesswork out of making e shaped easel cards you know i've made plenty of shaped easel cards and i'm not gonna lie to you it is work okay you've seen me do video after video on shaped easel cards it's it's work but it's fun work so with christina's dies for the shape for the shaped easel cards uh, she makes it a heck of a lot easier for us and here is another shape this one is called the bell bobble easel and it is also a 15 piece die set and this is what it looks like just like so and let me open it up to see the different dies it's also a large die see that these are large dies so you're going to be able to make some beautiful christmas cards there you go. And like I said earlier in my video, I do have a link to all of this that will take you to that page um, in the description area of this video. And just so you'll know, I give you my full disclosure. I do use affiliate links. So it is an affiliate link. The price remains the same whether or not you use my link. I The only difference is that I will get a small commission. And I, the little commissions that I earn, I always give it back to the crafting community through my giveaways and I also uh, donate the stuff that I make to area retirement homes and other uh, things like cards for kindness and so forth. So over here we have, let me just get this out of the, here we go. We have the Card Making Magic by Christina Griffiths, and this is a stamp set. It's called Christmas Versus A5 Stamp Set. So basically, it's the sentiments. It's all for Christmas. Look at that. Look at that. That is so super nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me do more um, stamps, and then I will show you the embossing folders. <laughs> okay, so we have some stamps over here, and these are the Pretty Poinsettia stamp set, which I believe goes with the... Hang on a second. Here we go. It goes with the set of dies, and this is the stamp set for it. Isn't that amazing? I love it, I love it, I love it. 
There we go. <laughs> Stay in focus range, Sandy. Okay, so we have this one and it goes with this one. Very nice. And this one is called Christmas versus A5. Now, what's the difference between this and this? Let me see. This one is called Christmas versus and this one is Christmas versus and they're not the same guys they're not the same they're, they are different verses let me hold them side by side so that y'all can see for yourself so it's not the same exact thing it's just they're just named the same but they're different sayings you know, like so I hope that y'all can see that my camera is at an angle right now, so it's kind of difficult for me to see what I'm showing you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And over here, loving the easels. Yeah, me said. And I believe this is going to go with, let me, let me, let me, let me, Perfect Christmas Rose. It's going to go with this set of dies. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So we're going to have a die per stamp. See, even these that I was telling you about, the imperfection of it is going to make it look so beautiful. See that. And once again, this is called Perfect Christmas Rose A5 Stamp Set that goes with the dies alrighty and now we have a couple of embossing folders and this one is called the trellis a5 embossing folder look at that and how big is it let me see hang on a second because i'm thinking you know what you can also use embossing folders when they're this large to emboss pages for your mini albums you know if you just want to do plain cardstock on one side and emboss it there's an idea this one measures eight in height by approximately five and three quarters so approximately eight by five and three quarters pretty isn't it and this one is absolutely beautiful this is the poinsettia a5 embossing folder look at that how pretty is that so this concludes my haul it's been really great chatting with y'all letting you know where i'm at you know i do um appreciate your continued prayers and yeah um i really i'm really enjoying the journey my paper crafting journey and 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 your you guys are the reason why i do this and you guys are the reason why i get to do this so yeah i appreciate y'all very much and if uh, if you're interested in my um blog giveaways do visit my blog every single month i am doing giveaway challenges in which you don't have to mail me anything all you got to do is take the picture of your project and upload it to my giveaway blog post. And so, yeah, and I will also uh, provide you with the link to my page at Craft World where every month I will be doing an exclusive tutorial, an exclusive video for watching. And I will see you once again real soon, okay? Bye now.